Boop. Boop. I'm back. I'm not your dad. Hello to Hello Oreo I love you I love you sweetheart They're in standard formation Little bastards up front Big ones in back Good luck Cairo I love you You just lay on my lap while I play Halo 2 and not get on my keyboard and mouse and mess me up? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yes, get up on top of the desk. Thank you. Or the computer. You guys haven't seen a Halo 2 speeder before? Where the fuck you been? Why don't you watch my streams? Regardless of your transgressions, I will show you how sick it is. Because it's sick nasty. It's pretty neat. It does take a little bit to get going though, I won't lie. Like there is some cool stuff going on at the beginning of the game, but it really gets cool after like the third level. It's a very technical speedrun. It's actually more similar to like Doom Eternal or Left 4 Dead 2 than it is to like Halo 3. It's way more technical because there's a lot of button combos in this game and a lot more cool tech. It's less, a lot less straightforward than something like Halo 3. I just stuck that elite in the dick. Uh -oh. This is a pretty basic wave clear, but then like the Covenant are going to blow up these ships. And if you look at the ships, they blow up way faster. So I gotta like do the combat and then stare at the ship until it's over. Do you gotta have it at 250 FPS? No, but like having higher frame rate just makes the game more responsive. It's not required for any of the tricks or anything. Halo actually has a tick based system, kind of like Left 4 Dead. So having frame rate doesn't, high frame rate doesn't really change anything in the game's physics. Uh, because of that. Like for people that don't know, a tick based system is basically an independent clock that runs uh, independent of your frame rate. A shotgun boost. There's one of those button combos I was telling you about. So like the game is doing updates and stuff based on the internal clock and not based on how fast the game's running. Whereas in a lot of games they do it based on like how fast the frame rate is. In Halo they do it tick rate based so you don't have to worry about that. So you can have really high frame rates and it doesn't really mess with physics and stuff. Should be the standard for game dev honestly. I don't know why it's not. Modern games especially have a really bad time with that. Yeah, I want to learn Legendary eventually. This is just easy. Easy is still a really cool run, but Ledge is like a lot more like Left 4 Dead where it's super volatile and stuff and like very random, but it has its own appeal. I'll definitely do it eventually. I need to not be terrible at easy first though. So that thing I did earlier was called shotgun boost. Basically, the melee button in this game just cancels everything. So like if you do a like a melee and a reload, or the reload button cancels everything is what I meant to say. Uh, if you press reload, it cancels it. So like the melee won't hit. And so you get like a lunge when you melee in this game. So you can like lunge to melee and then cancel it so it doesn't hit. And then you can shoot with the shotgun to kill the enemy. So you go like flying. You can do the same thing with just a normal melee cancel, but you have to go over the enemy's head. 
And it's very similar to how like sword flying will work later. It's like the main tech in the run. Not quite a sub five, but still decent. Do you have a Discord? I do. I do have a Discord. Uh, it should be in the panels, I think. Or if you type exclamation mark Discord, I think there should be a link. So first level, pretty much just combat. Second level is where some skip starts to happen. This is the outskirts. We're supposed to do like a whole bunch of uh, close quarters combat inside like a cityscape. But instead we're just going to nade jump out of bounds and then Shh. no one saw that uh <laughs> it's all tower we're gonna nade jump out of bounds and then do some pretty easy parkour to just skip across the top of the buildings so uh we're gonna do some pretty easy parkour to skip across the top of the building <laughs> bro how am i messing this up I'm trying to get a slope jump off of the side to get some extra speed, but I'm trolling. Uh, there we go. Smiley face. Anyways, we can skip like half the level by just doing this nade jump and then going through all, like skipping all of that. It's going to be the slope jump. There we go. Pretty easy parkour. It is really easy. I've actually literally never missed that jump before in my life. I'm not even kidding. In practice, I never missed it once, and every single run I've ever done, I've never missed it. That is the first time I've missed it. But I mean, I didn't. I definitely didn't miss it. No one saw that. So now we're like halfway into the level. We skipped the really infamous outskirts ja sniper jackal section. On easy, the sniper jackals aren't really a problem, but it's, it's just slow. I fucking love this level. So much so I'm going to do it again. So even on easy, if you get hit in the back with the melee, you instantly die. And uh, this game is really good with its checkpoints, so I didn't get any yet. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting spit roasted by this game right now. I'm getting gang banged. All right, so in the video, I'm going to splice out the first two attempts of this level. And this is just going to where the video is going to start. Okay. We all agree with that chat? Will that work? We'll just like look the other way. Is that cool? And this instant silence is actually consent, so speak now or forever hold your peace. No? Alright, so let me ban that guy. Sergeant, I need you on that verge. My pelican. First try. That actually happened in PB attempts the other day. It's really annoying. Try to do a melee boost there, but I always miss it and then I get smacked in the back by an elite. Gotcha. Oh no. He actually did it. What other attempts? The, you're right. There are no other attempts. That was his first try. I know it was. <laughs> oh no. They're dead. He fucking killed them! Bods crush his skull. Between their thighs? Uh, like, that would might even be, like, not even a punishment. That's, like, kind of hot, honestly. You chose not to abuse your power. I, I appreciate it. But I also appreciate both choosing to abuse their power. I appreciate both of you. What year is this game? 2005? I think. Someone fact check me in chat? No, I just appreciate both of you for living your own lives. What's up, Rockman? 2004. I was close. What's up, the dumb one? -oh? Howdy. That's true. It's part of the Ten Commandments. 
This is the 11th commandment. Wife who hates B. How the runs today? Pretty good. I got this level first try. That was nice. Later, Sky. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate you. This is the part of the level is kind of boring because you did be driving. You do, you do kind of be driving though. You guys ever be driving for a long period of time and then you just kind of spawn in? You're like, whoa! I just was driving for the last 20 minutes and I have no idea how I got here. Just full autopilot. That's a good feeling. I like that. Doesn't give me anxiety at all. It's good to go 60 in a 20 zone. Is that? That seems like it's criminal speeding. Every time you have to go into work, it's like an hour drive because people can't drive for shit. Oh, really? Damn, that's a brutal drive. An hour drive? My girlfriend's like an hour away, and I have to do that like maybe two or three times a week. To go hang out with her. I mean, obviously worth, but like, I couldn't imagine doing it every single day twice for work. We spend more money on gas than you actually get paid in a day. Between like buying food for lunch and paying for gas both ways, it's literally you just like break even. That's not even a job. Pack a lunch. Yeah, but I like to buy food when I go outside because it's like a reward for going outside, you know? It's a special treat to reward myself for leaving the house. Make more money? True, simple. If you just open the PDF that is your contract for your job and then alter the amount of money that you get paid in the contract then they'll actually send you more money each paycheck to buy dinner before gym then as a reward but if you eat dinner right before the gym you're gonna shit your pants and puke at the gym that's not fun My introvert brain needs a reward for going outside and dealing with people being stupid. Yeah, exactly. So you get yourself like a, a foot long sandwich at Subway or something for like $20 because inflation's a bitch. Or some nuggies at McDonald's for $20 because inflation's a bitch. Eat. Alt. Then don't flip. Don't flip out. Relax. We're good. Uh, we need a little bit of chat participation here. I'm gonna I'm gonna call out a number and chat. I need you to add a minute and twelve seconds to it, and then tell me what it is. I need your help. I don't know how to do simple math, so it, it's like really important. Uh, One forty nine. Oh God. God damn it! Quotes. Oh. Uh. That should be 301, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm probably slow because that driving was terrible and that's even getting, it's getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. So the reason why I'm asking for that is because that scarab spawns in like the big spider thing. And I have to get on that scarab with a skip. That's gonna let me skip like the second half of the level. Um, the problem is if I don't get on it early enough, then I'll soft lock because the scarab will disappear. Basically, there's two scarabs, the one that I saw and the one that spawns in later. But if the one that I just saw doesn't disappear before the other one spawns, then things break. And then you soft lock. So I either need to get on it, but I need to like spawn it in before 112 after it spawns in, or I have to wait for like 10 seconds, which I have to wait because I'm not fast enough, so 301, so I could go at 311. I, 
when I cross this barrier over here where it spawns it in, that I have to hit that before 301 or after 311. If I do it in the between, then it'll despawn later and I'll soft lock. If my driving was good, I'd be able to make it on the early cycle and I wouldn't have to wait. But I uh, tried to drive my Warthog to the wall of flesh in Terraria, right into the ground. So normally this thing is supposed to just like walk over top of you and then you have to go find it later in the level and get on top of it. But it has like moon physics applied during a certain part of his animation and you can just jump up like that um, and skip having to like go find it later. So here I am. And now I'm waiting for it to get to like the end of the level so that the enemies will spawn in on the inside and then once I kill those enemies, the level ends. Uh, I'm really hoping I didn't go too early because instead of the enemies spawning, the whole thing will just despawn and then I'll fall to my death. Uh, so you'll definitely know if I got the despawn. Okay, we're good. Nice. Easy clap. Thanks for the participation, chat. I appreciate you. We are the arm of the prophet, and you are the What's up, Overzealous Fern? Thanks. Yeah, actually, my PB... The, the one before my most recent PB was literally, like, during my race with Nervi. Before, like, just after I got 20 hours total. <laughs> I got a really good time, like, pretty fast, but then I could not PB for the life of me for, like, a week. So now we're playing as Arbiter, and Arbiter has the sword. And sword flying, and sword flying is sick. Sword canceling. I kind of messed that one up there. I didn't look up hard enough, but it's fine. And then we got a really big skip coming up that's, like, super important. It's called Hanger Skip. Basically, there's a hangar down here that you have to fight a bunch of enemies and kill them all to open a door. Um, but that's slow, so we're just going to clip to the floor and skip the whole section. And we could do that because Arbor has invisibility. That I could toggle like this. And I can get in the elevator floor and have it crush me. And that grenade I threw is going to aggro one of the enemies and pull him over towards me. And when you're stuck inside collision in this game, the game likes to push you out of it. Nice, first try. The game likes to push you out of the collision, but you can manipulate the enemies so that you can do a sword lunge at him. And that pushes you in the floor in the right way that actually lets you go, um, like, skip the hangar, basically. Let's go right through, right through the floor. Skip that whole fight. That, tr that trigger is actually really hard. <laughs> if you don't do it correctly, then you just die. Thankfully, you get a checkpoint during the middle of the setup, but you need to stand in the right spot and also time it correctly so that you get uh, the lunge... Because if you don't time it correctly, then the lunge will uh, just put you through the floor and you'll die. So I'm doing the same tech I did earlier with the shotgun boost. Where I like press reload and that makes it not hit the enemy. But I'm doing it with the energy sword. And so I can like go over their heads like this. And do a sick sword cancel. And you don't have to worry about the enemy sword like hitting him and stopping you. Deal with him, my brother. No! Uh, no glass clip. If you do that right, you can just like energy sword lunge right through the glass because this game is broken. It's fine. It's actually only like an eight second time loss. Here, you're supposed to basically what you're doing is Arbiter. You're playing as RB. They have the meats, you know, and you got to track down the heretic who's like a false prophet or whatever. Some shenanigans. But uh, you're supposed to like try to find him in this area, but you just know where to go. You just go right there. You just leave. Later, nerd. What's up, Kyle Bennett's? You just woke up like a complete degenerate. What time is it for you, sir? I have two questions for you. One, what time is it for you? <gasps> After you... Oh, nice sword lunge. After you answer that question, I have another question. One. PM? That's not terrible. I mean, like, maybe that just says more about me than it does about you, but... What 
It's not the end of the world. That's pretty late, but like I've done worse. It's fine. Okay, question number two. How many cups are in your room? This is a question for all of chat. Chat, cup check. How many cups are in your room? Empty cups. Go pick up your cups and put them in the sink or the dishwasher. You just cleared yours out? I don't believe you. Zero? Chat, don't lie to me. I already have trust issues. I left a little bit too early. That's fine. There we go. What have they done? Do Kansas soda count? Yes. They do. Obviously. It's a perfect time to go put the cups away because this is an auto scroller. Or you wait for the elevator to go down. So you're literally not missing anything. Add the 50 cans of Mountain Dew to your total? Exactly. Bro, one of my, my cousin used to have like literally like trash bags full of soda cans in his room. He was a gamer. Tra I'm the trash bags full, actually. I don't know why he didn't just take the trash bags down to the garbage because they were already in trash bags right but he just didn't I think he would take them to get them crushed and like turn into uh to, to monies actually which would kind of make sense why do I kill my allies here because the elevator won't go until everyone is like ready and in their spots so if you just kill them it goes a little bit faster at least I think that's why. Two, but they're not empty. Why do you have two both open, huh? Finish one, bro. One of those is stale. Try to keep it to the soda or two a day. It's still a lot. I used to drink... I can't judge. I used to drink... I shit you not like six or seven cans of Coke a day. She was bad. And all I would eat was chips. It's a miracle I'm skinny. My metabolism is pretty good. Drink water is good for you. You should drink water. Nowadays I drink a fuck ton of milk. Because I need the calories. But I'd be in the bathroom. Shit. Shit. Like seven times a day. So does gross. Carbonation is gross. That, what do you mean carbonation is gross? You literally drink that spicy water as carbonated. You drink like a gal, a liter. 1.5 liters of coke a day. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not just pure ulcers. That's wild. That is an insane amount of soda, actually. At that point, your body just adapts and it becomes healthy for you. That's, that's what my thought process was. I'm a whole milk kind of guy. I used to do 2%, but I was starting to try to bulk at the gym. And like whole milk's where it's at for that, for sure. All right, auto scroller is over. Wake up, chat. No, that was cringe. Okay, I gotta kill these guys. Pick up the sword. One, two.
three. Four, that's their spawns. Now four more. One, two, three. One more somewhere. He's probably stuck. Step bro. Help him out. There he is. Five fifty eight. 558 at 5 at 658 wait no no someone's still alive yeah okay 612 so that's 712 yeah pretty sure 712 one of them lived somehow you have to kill four enemies here and then a minute timer starts but i guess i didn't kill the fourth enemy so i lost like a bunch of time there it's fine uh so 712 maybe i guess i could try killing them at seven or like uh 650 but there are only three of them here now what the hell are all my flood bro I was just standing there, menacingly. That's gotta be it, right? Open the door! I got the checkpoint, so the door must open. That's how it works, right? Or not. Someone's alive somewhere. This room sucks! I hate this room! There he is. That was slow. I think this isn't a PB attempt. Because I would not be getting a PB. So now we're going to show off what's called sword flying. So like the sword lunge thing relies on the red, red, red reticle here. Like the little half circle thing. But you can actually aim with a different gun. And get a red reticle from much further away. And then switch weapons and press reload to cancel. And do a sword lunge from really far away like that. That's called a sword fly. And that shit is the bread and butter of this game. You don't really get to do it on easy until about here, though. Dude, honestly, if the level just started right here, that would make the level so much better in the speedrun, actually. Where'd he go? I saw him. Why do they always hide from me in this section, bro? Best nade jump in the series. <laughs> Coke is better in Mexico, trust me. Coca-Cola, I like how you specified Coca-Cola. I'm sure that the Coke is better in Mexico too. I wouldn't be surprised. I know that Coca-Cola is, but I don't have experience with the other one. The room in the auto scroll make the level much worse. I don't mind dialogue skip. Yeah, dialogue skip is fine. But the auto scroller definitely sucks. And that room just having like super ass enemy spawns. That guy just went flying. Make it so bad. Needed a nap. Not a nap. How's your blood sugar? Is that why? You're just tired. It's been so good lately. I haven't even been checking it. I actually don't know where my phone is, not gonna lie.
That's not bad. Tired from not sleeping. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. You'll call me so I can find it. Oh, thanks, Raiden. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Cat Jam. Songs of Bob. Use the phone when you have a computer. True that. Phone better than computer ever. Computer always better than phone. I got a laptop recently, and bro, that shit is fire. Having the access to a full computer, like whatever you want, is so sick. And just doing everything on a computer is so much better. I couldn't imagine like just only doing everything from a phone all the time. Like a lot of people don't have desktops and they just like apply for jobs or do school and stuff on a phone. There ain't no way, bro. You would never catch me doing that shit. Also, what's up, Hans? Good to see ya. I got a really nice laptop. It's got a 4050 in it and a Ryzen 9. Hello? There we go. It was actually not that crazy expensive either. It was only like 1200 bucks. Kind of like reading textbooks on your phone though. Reading isn't the worst on a phone. But anytime where you have to interact with stuff, just using a touchscreen is objectively the worst way to do it. Touch screens are like really cool for super, super low intensity work, but if you have to do any sort of like typing, touch screens are awful. If you have to use a mouse, like using a trackpad is pretty terrible. I'm like a spoiled brat. I, I actually bring my mouse and keyboard with me because I have a 60% keyboard and, and a nice mouse and I just never use my laptop keyboard. <laughs> I just plug in an external keyboard and use that because I'm spoiled and I want my nice keyboard. I didn't get a checkpoint. That's not good. It's okay though. I'm the best. I won't die. I will hit the trick first try. That rhymed even. Spitting bars. Uh oh. So anyways, this level's pretty cool. <laughs> Do I like to read books? I read Twitch chat every day. Does that count? Okay, I shouldn't rocket jump because it stops me from getting a checkpoint sometimes. A physical copy is always better for reading, I will not lie. But if you are going to read digital, it's like not much different when it's a phone or a computer. Should get a travel keyboard, but my normal keyboard is super good for travel. It's a 60% really nice. I already have one, basically. Less stuff to unplug. I can unplug some stuff. It's not a big deal. So I use wireless, not for my keyboard, but yes, for my mouse. Oh God, I hate how much inertia the ghost has. There we go. Much better that time. Uh, my keyboard is not wireless, but my mouse is. I used to, uh, I used, I use a wireless G502. 
and I have one of those Logitech charging mouse pads. So I would never have to charge it, but for whatever reason, it doesn't charge wirelessly anymore. And I don't know why. I have two charging mouse pads that are wireless like that, and neither of them work. So it's gotta be the mouse. I think the, I don't know, but the battery holds charge if I manually charge it. So I don't know why it stopped working. I need to like try to figure that out at some point. That's what I have, yeah. Logitech Tiro G502. It's the goaded mouse. I would never use another one again. Not sponsored, but I wish I was. You hear me, Logitech? I will shield the best mouse of all time. It's Royal Bay Area. Oh! Someone will do it, I'm sure. I didn't hit the trigger. There it is. Some problem with wireless charging hardware, I suppose. Maybe, I think it might be a software problem too. Why would they pay me when I do it for free? Uh, I, that's a good point. I should stop shilling Logitech for free. That way I can get a sponsor. Good point. I am making sure I have my energy sword for regret. There will not be a repeat of the race. What does it for me? The feel of it? It's big. I got big hands. Don't show your girlfriend she'll blush. But like, I like a nice big comfy mouse that fits in my palm. And also it's got a lot of buttons. Which I like, because I'm a speedrunner. And it's got a lot of customization and stuff. It's just perfect. Everything you could want. Yeah, it's like a custom painted one. I got it from... I forget where I got it from. Don't mention that it kind of looks like a Pokeball. It doesn't. I gotta check one thing out. Free scroll, yeah, free scroll mouse is huge. It's got a really, really nice mouse wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. I like it. And it's big. It's a big mouse, but it's not super heavy. God damn it, Griff. I said, I said don't. You have little hands though. So you have a nice cute little mouse. This light couldn't have been formed by volcanic action, which means it was either built this way on purpose or was created by some other pathogen. I'm sorry, were you trying to kill something? You know, it's okay, I was fast enough. So sword flying is really strong. And this is like a really good spot to show it off. I need to make a thorough survey. We got onto the gondola early by doing a sword cancel, which means that we just skipped like a whole huge portion of this level. But now we have a beam rifle, which has a double zoom and we have an energy sword. So we're actually going to redirect off of this corner to try to land up there and skip like half of this gondola ride. Conveniently, we'll get a checkpoint right before we do the red reticle for the sniper and then basically what we do is we switch weapons and hit press reload and for a very brief moment there's a red reticle on the sword and then we can lunge with the sword even though we're really far away third try is not bad sub zero howdy I knew I missed one. Die! There we go. If I go any lower in the level, then Cortana will make me kill more enemies before I can progress, so we're good. I'll try that bad. Love Death Adders. 
the new ones like every five to six years only and my hands are used to them can't imagine getting a different one i feel that that's kind of how i am for uh g502s i've owned three of them in my life and i've been using them exclusively ever since the only reason i abandoned my last one is because i wanted a nice custom one and i wanted to upgrade to wireless that was it Hey Zef. What you mean, my friend? This is all the splits. A secure transmission from Regret's carrier to something called High, High Charity. It seems to be a formal apology to prophets of truth and mercy. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival. Our is it put latency a thing with wireless? Everything you need to know about wireless is that explained by pro Counter-Strike players use wireless mice. Well, I know how much time I lost on Metro. I probably didn't lose very much, actually. I lost a fuck ton of time on Oracle, though. Wireless mice have not been a problem for like at least a decade. Like at least a decade. Actually, wireless mice are generally better than wired mice. They have like better hardware. Nowadays. Arguably more reliable. Go wireless, keep it plugged in. I mean, yes, you could. I really fucking hate wires with my mouse. I could never go back to using a wired mouse. It is so restrictive with how you move your mouse. I could never go back. Your brain can't do wireless? What do you mean? It's the same thing. Yeah, I don't mind a particularly, like, slightly heavier mouse. Regret's carrier just I don't want to be able to accidentally pick it up. A very well encrypted message from the prophet of truth. Listen so I want it so heavy, I literally physically can't pick it up. Of our covenant threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to mercy and his wise counsel. Joel. Truth, mercy, regret. Three profit hierarchs. Killing regret. Like your wired messies don't want a charging mouse pad and you forget to charge things. Yeah, I forget to charge things too. But it lasts like 20 plus hours before I have to charge it. So it really hasn't been a problem for me. Especially since I'm a degenerate that leaves my computer on all the time. Just plug it in. And actually what ends up happening is I usually like still need to use the mouse even if it needs to charge and I can just use it while it's charging because the charging cable is also a connector cable and it does charge faster than it's used so I end up like just charging it by using it wired. Someone I know made fun of me for having wireless, and they're like, I sure do love when I have to use a double-A battery to move my mouse. And I think they only know Razer products. That's like really like budget ghetto dollar general ma mice that have that actually use like batteries. You wouldn't want to use one of those. But they're like two dollars, so of course you wouldn't want to use one of them. Razer actually has the worst products of all time. I had a Razer keyboard one time. I don't have a Razer keyboard anymore. That's the whole story.
Pressure keyboards are awful, but the mice are pretty good. I've never had a mouse to be fair, but the keyboards were so bad. I was like, this is the quality of their builds. So yeah, no thanks. No thanks. How is using a wire Giga Chad, bro? If anything, just like having pure faith that your inputs will f like fly through the air and reach your computer and be recognized correctly is like way more Giga Chad. What's that rub a dub? Razor keyboard feels nice quality, but the keys are way too sensitive. If you, uh, think that your Razer keyboard quality is nice, you should see like a nice custom keyboard. You'll be blown away. They're not even that much more expensive either. The Pope is dead. Long live the Pope. I am now the new Pope. That means the Phantoms are turning around. The fleet is preparing to fire on our position. We need to get out of here. Chat, you ever taken a shower before? Master Chief has. No, I respect the honesty. Whoa! Speaking of my mouse being good, what was that? Partial to Corsair. I use a Corsair headset and it's good. Actually now I use Steel Series, but I used to use a Corsair headset, but it's like okay. I never had a Corsair keyboard. Yeah, but B, me and you are like fancy schmancy ducky keyboard users. Corsair Wireless Void Pro, that's what I had, yeah. Corsair Void Pros. Did I use a DC slash amp? No? Ouch. I don't think so. Ducky isn't even fancy. It's like lower middle class keyboard. I don't know about all that. Most people don't even know what a ducky is. Most people use membrane keyboards from like 2001. That's like easily the median keyboard. The mode, the mode keyboard is like a 2001 membrane keyboard. Right, the average keyboard. So a ducky is like way higher quality than that. If you can get the keyboard at Best Buy, it's probably not very good. You have a ducky mechanical 60%, like this. Ducky one too many. Hog. Go back to Slexic. I need a keyboard that can handle a lot of spilled liquids and food. I I respect the honesty, honestly. Have you tried not spilling your food all over your keyboard? Get a side table and put your food on that. Get a ducky one too many for four years. Best keyboard I ever had. What? And then they took it in the divorce. Your bitch ex-wife. What the hell happened to it?
That was a little close. The only keyboard worth using is the Windows on screen keyboard. On screen keyboards are fucking awful, bro. Oh god, don't kill me. Maybe they'll just use your phone. I will not be caught doing FN plus Alt plus 4 to quit my games. What? You're afraid of pressing the FN key to get your function keys, bro? Who cares? Why are you Alt f 4 to close your games? You degenerate? You rage quitting? How about you just go to the main menu and hit quit game? How about that, huh? Because it's faster? Who's the speedrunner here? Me or you? Or you just tab out and close it. That's what I do a lot of the time, actually. I just alt tab. And then I grab the window and close it. I mean, that's still better than alt f 4 because at least I know for sure I'm closing the right window. You know, if you're alt f 4 you could accidentally be tabbed into the wrong thing and just close like... And for me, I can close OBS on accident. Alt f 4 is a dangerous key combination for a streamer. It's not making it 100% sure that I am closing the right tab. We're not all streaming. Obviously, we are. Everyone has the same exact experience as me in life. Okay, there's my three kills. Now I need five. One, two, three. Four. He's probably not dead. Five question mark? Yeah, I got it. Arbiter. We must hold this camp until reinforcement. Please die when I shoot you. Holy shit, human flood are invincible. They're actually invincible. Like, for real, like, they're invincible. You can't kill them. to FN plus equal sign to take screenshots on Steam? No, bro, you just rebind the screenshot tool. What? The screenshot button is F F12 by default. I think. Maybe that's what I rebound it to. But, like, just rebind it, bro. You do realize you could just rebind any key combination in the entire planet. Especially if you have a ducky, you can literally hard rebind keys. Like, I don't have arrow keys on my keyboard, but... I removed like the right control function windows key and then uh, replaced ex or the ex question mark with quotation marks and then removed that and gave myself dedicated. I turned those keys into uh, arrow keys and they're like hard bound because with the ducky you can actually like 
change the there's software built into the keyboard so you don't even need software like it's hardbound and you can just rebind the keys that's what i do oh i had to take extra time to rebind the functions instead of having extra function keys yeah but then you just have like this extra part of your keyboard that you literally never use except for like super niche scenarios like when you're taking screenshots of your Skyrim sex mods or whatever, you take screenshots for you, weirdo. Yo, oh, 10 next to the 57 years, you old fuck. Oh, while you're here, I need you to send me the source code of the working thumbnail generator. Could you do that to me, please? Because uh, there's some bugs in it that I need to fix, but I don't have the source code of the working version, only the version I sent you that didn't work. Cat jam. Hopefully it is. If not, it's not the end of the world, but like it's kind of funny because when I try to do it for Halo Infinite, uh, it breaks because the word in is inside the word infinite. And so, yeah. XD. Actually though, like who takes screenshots on Steam? Like what are you taking screenshots of, bro? The screenshotting the sex scenes in Baldur's Gate 3? That I believe. Ooh, Cyan, fog. A thousand screenshots from playing Deus Ex, bro. What is it like? Have you used the screenshot key as part of the gameplay? All right, chat. If you have anything that you need to do, you need to go change the laundry. You gotta take a dump. You need a snack. Now is your time. This is a five minute auto scroller. Literally nothing happens for the next four, 30, four minutes and 30 seconds. So. Now is the time. Go get snacks. Yo, yeah, Slick. Thank you for the four months. I appreciate that. Is it gay if me and the homies interlock toes and send each other hog pics? I mean... You got socks on? Because if so, no. Just set up your son's dinner plate. Let's go. It was your flashlight key and you never rebound it? That's hilarious. Go for the sword fly in the end? No thanks. Should go have a life? You should. You got plenty of time. You still got like 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Hello, Oreo. I love you. Uh, I'm tired. Uh. Ow! Oreo, why do you hurt me? I don't deserve this.
Thoughts on Mountain Dew? When I used to drink soda, I loved it. It was my one of my favorites easily. But I haven't drank soda in like probably twenty five now, six years since I was like eighteen. Maybe even longer than that. You're a monthly Patreon supporter, and I forgot to cancel my three-month Switch Chub subscription, so yeah, double the support. Oh god, I appreciate that. Patreon is definitely the way to go, but I appreciate the Twitch sub too. Remember to turn off auto renew. As long as you want to, obviously. Which reminds me, the last two months, we hit the requirement for the 60-40 sub split on Twitch. So this is the last month if we get... If we have 100 subs at the end of the month, then uh, I'll get 60-40. Just bog. That should make me a little bit more income a month, which is good dope. We got a long ways to go before we could get the 70-30 split, but that's okay. Are you rich? I fluctuate between absorbently wealthy and completely broke. Just depends on the month, you know. They don't have shield generators, but take them out before. Depends on the algorithm. It's not even so much the algorithm as just like how much I decide to work on YouTube and what I decide to do. I'm rich in love at the very least. I don't think so. It was the house hunt. Um, I wasn't really like looking to buy. I was just like looking before, you know, just to see what there was, like what my options were and stuff. But there isn't a reason to anymore. Frankly. My girlfriend has a house, so. on one of the pedestals near the door probably keep it man if i'm honest i consistently watch because it's only one month it's like 15 bucks while it's like 12 euros or something it's uh just to not have ads it's not bad now please get a hell yeah brother hell yeah brother i appreciate you so like before it was something where like i need to buy a house but now it's like just we're staying together long enough and she already has one right this way yeah easy exactly I've solved the housing crisis. Seduce a cute girl that already owns a house. Well, I would think long term. Well, I'm like, you know, I'm still saving my money and stuff, but. There'd be no reason to buy another one. It's not like I'm like, oh, well, my girlfriend has a house now, so I'm just going to be like completely ir irresponsible with my finances. Checkpoint? Okay, good. All right, come on. I hate this trick. Here, Chief, jump in. I still hate it. Double the houses means surely double the money? Yes, obviously. Here, Chief. Jump in. But that's a really good setup. Let's go. So this is prison skip. Basically, I'm going to suck off this brute. Let's go skip half the level. There's a prison section down there that you're supposed to go do and like free a bunch of marines and stuff but as soon as you go far enough into the level oh what happened uh once you go far enough into the level the game is like oh you've done the prison 
I despawn the enemies. That's not good. Uh, and so then you could just do a butterfly to fly right back up and then skip the whole prison. The enemies are gone though. Because I despawned them. Surely that means I'll get a checkpoint, right? Right, Halo 2? Smiley face? Oh, I actually did. Holy shit. This is a great mine, which is the sickest level on the run because it's got prison skip and also some sick sword flies that, you know, I assure you are really cool. Maybe one day I'll hit one. And y'all get to see how cool they really are. One day. Yeah, I missed a trigger because I flew too far off the elites too fast. I literally can't scope fly anymore. He killed the fucking... That could happen? Bro. I don't know why I could do regret sword fly like first try every time. But when I get to this part of the game, I can no longer sword fly. Ooh, I could do that sword fly standing. I thought I had to jump into that. That makes it way easier actually. I thought I had to jump into that. To be able to hit that fly and go over the wall like that. Sword flies are way easier if you're on the ground. Just because you don't have to like jump and then press B right afterwards. I cannot fucking sword fly though. Literally physically incapable. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I was literally able to sword fly earlier. This is whenever I get to green mind, like I just can't do it anymore. I don't know why. I just can't, I'm physically incapable. I've reached my genetic capacity. What a terrible sword fly. Oh well. Is I hit one? Found the last working version, but I don't know how it works. Some with thumbnails on your D drive. Yeah. I just need the source code for it. I know how it works. The problem was like before when I was trying to launch it, before I had you fix it or whatever, it just would have a syntax error where there wasn't one. And so you had to fix it. I don't know what you did to fix it. Like in our Discord DMs, I sent you a version that should work, but just doesn't. And it says there's a syntax error and you're like, I'll try to fix it. And then you just sent me the executable version. Instead of like a version that worked, but wasn't an executable. So I don't know what you did to change it. How far am I into this Halo run? Uh, there's like four levels left. Bro, I literally can't sword fly. I don't know what the fuck happened.
I feel like I'm not swinging the sword fast enough. What am I doing wrong, bro? I literally just can't scope fly. It's physically impossible. It's beyond my genetic capacity. Never mind, just kidding. I didn't even land where I wanted to land. I'm afraid to restart checkpoint. It might be really far away, actually. It's the key bindings? How does that make any sense? What? Oh my god. How would my key bindings affect me hitting the sword flies? When I literally hit them consistently before with the same key bindings. I'm just out of practice. There we go. Jesus. I don't know why I was struggling so hard with sword flies. back there yeah I saw for the song here because if I don't then I'll get DMCA'd on the YouTube VOD bro I literally can't sword fly I'm so bad at this game I, I can't do it Why is everything so much more high def? Because it's literally more high def. I pressed the high def button. Unscoped fly, it's easier, but still, I'm a little salty. Ugh. Seal waifu, seal team six waifu. You know, me, a big military guy. What am I doing wrong? I hate this game. Finally, I hit a sword fly. Miss me with that shit, bitch.
Easy clap. Thankfully, there's no sword flying in the last level, but there is in the next level, unfortunately. Can't wait to miss sword flies for like 20 minutes straight. I always forget how charity exists. I don't know why. Probably because I charity skip, but I don't do it, so it doesn't really make sense that I would forget it. Do you get scared when someone says poo? No? Should I? You find it weird, so you get scared. Poo. Sorry. Should speed run legendary? Yeah, because easy is going so well. Obviously, I'm totally ready for legendary. Chat, stop saying poo, you're scaring him. No, you're scaring him, no! Quit saying poo! No enemy has ever withstood our might. The floods too shall fail. Dude, like literally how am I not hitting the sword fly? I wish I could like have some sort of tell from what my timing was. Like I'm swinging the sword. Does that mean I'm not pressing reload early enough? No enemy has ever withstood our might. The floods too shall I didn't get midair stopped. I didn't look far enough to the side. No enemy has ever For the content. Bad as duck. For the culture. Stop chat, oh my god, please, you're scaring me. Yeah, it definitely helps to stay not rusty. Even though I'm dog shit at this game, even when I'm actively playing it. it. Helps me not be super rusty, and also it gives me daily uploads for the Archive channel, and also it gives me an excuse to play games that I would not play in a million years. Like, I don't really have any intention of ever grinding RE4, like... Or I guess I have been recently, but... For a long time, I was of the mind like, that I don't want to grind RE4, like, ever again. But... People really like watching me play RE4, so if I do marathons and I do RE4, then... People see me play RE4. You know what I mean? Like, lots of people love watching me run Left 4 Dead 2, but I'd never play it. Why am I all of a sudden hitting sword flies? I'm suspicious. Am I cheating? I couldn't hit them for like 20 minutes, so now I can just hit them all over the place. Like, I never have hit that sword fly in my life. Me and Dante ever thought about RE5 speedrun stream? I've done that already, actually. Me and Dante had like ninth place in RE5. We did like four streams of that or something. I have two videos about it on the highlight channel. This crisis will not be the end of us. It is but one last hurdle. Yeah, I mean everything that I make videos about on that channel, it comes the footage comes from streams. If I see a Spanish person, I literally think of you because you do them dirty in RE4. That's hilarious.
but yeah it helps me not be rusty and it's also good content for people that like don't necessarily care about the other games that i run and uh yeah it's also just fun Swordflies are back baby i don't know what i did but they're back or scooby i put scooby on the patron voting list for next week i actually forgot to put the patron voting list this week my bad uh but next week it's on the list so if you if you're if you want to see scooby then be a patron and vote for it that's not at all what i wanted Come here. Give ghost. Thank you. For the vote, do it. Do it. <laughs> Raiden, you're funny. I appreciate you. Die, please. I missed my nade board. The Arbiter? I think I gotta push the box on the way. Move! Move! Why does it go such a pussy in this game, bro? It goes so slow, it cannot. Ooh, it can't push people out of the way for shit. Can't splatter for anything. Nice, nice rock. Nice cock. Oh, uh, uh, e, uh, oh, uh, uh, all the vowels, all of them. Sometimes why? Excuse me, coming through. I do Halo 1 or 3 speedruns in the future. I I already know Halo 3 speedrun. I'm not very good at it, but I do know it. And uh, I am planning on next week learning Reach. We're doing a, a re uh, Halo Reach learning race with Sinister. Bro, don't tell me I missed a trigger. And then after that, I've... Fuck me. I gotta go back and hit a trigger. And then after that, me and Dice are gonna learn C. There we go. And then I'll probably stop learning for a while and just try to actually get good at those games because I suck at all of them. But I do plan on learning like ODST and four and five at some point. How are you doing, Dice? Good to see you. I do love that about Halo speedruns thing. It's pretty great. The classic OG Halo thing to do is like try to fit vehicles in places they're not supposed to go, and that's what you do in every speedrun. Is fit vehicles in places they're not supposed to go. Try to fit me. Oh whoa. Well. A learning race? Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. Probably not. We did a learning race with Nervy for this game. 
So basically we have like 20 hours to learn the run and then we do our first speed runs as a best of three race. So next week we're gonna do that, but with Halo Reach and I'm racing Sinister. Instead of, we did that with Halo 2, like two weeks ago or something like that, and uh, we did it with Nervy. So Sinister is a really high level Halo 2 runner, and Nervy's a really high level Halo CE runner. But Nervy didn't know Halo 2 before we did the race, and neither, and uh, Sinister won't know Reach before we do the race. Later, Rose Nightmare. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Works exhausting. Well, I hope it gets better. I still want to do a learning race of ODST, and I think I'm going to try to get Zoo to do it. But we'll see about that, because Zoo is going to be like, I want a 114. And then he's going to be like, I want a 113. And then he's going to be like, I want a 112. Until eventually the Halo legendary world record is one minute long. Are there any other games that aren't Halo that you'd want to speedrun learn race? Uh, honestly, not really. I'm at the point where I know a bunch of games and I want to become like really good at them. And I don't really want to learn any more. I was kind of in that position before I started learning the Halo games, actually, where I'm like, I just want to play the games I'm already good at and like get really, really good at them. But then I've been watching a ton of Halo runs and I'm like, OK, I want to learn the Halo runs. <laughs> so I, I have been. Um, but I don't have any other game series or anything like that that I particularly want to learn to run. I think it's bad for my it's bad for business to learn new runs, frankly, unless they're part of a franchise that I already run. Halo, Halo as itself is already bad for business. But I'm invested already, so too late. Nah, I love the learning part. The learning part's my favorite part. It's like more fun than grinding out runs, honestly. Yeah, well, playing anything besides RE4 is bad for streaming, so it's like, pick your poison. GG. Oh, 30. 